Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so here is another project on my to-do list that um, just, I'm going to finish up and get it off, uh, off the list. Um, I started this washcloth a while ago um, and I just, I've got this far, I just have to finish, I just have to finish this last corner here and then it's finally done. Um, as you can see, it's just a knit washcloth um, using some cotton yarn um, and uh, yeah, I have already made a couple of these um, before and they are phenomenal for scrubbing dishes and you know really getting into um, you know scrubbing housework and things so I mean I picked a yarn that's not you know that's durable to, it's a cotton yarn um, it washes well um, but at the same time I don't particularly care if it's going to get uh, kind of dirty as as I go around so um, yeah so I'm going to finish this off and I'll be back and show you the finished project thanks all right everyone so here it is finally done the uh, little strings are all woven in. It's all ready to go, ready to go for the first load of dishes or first scrubbing of the floors or whatever it is that I end up using it for. Um, so I can finally take this out of my knitting pile and, and count this one as done. Like I said, I've made a few of these before and um, they're really great. They're, uh, you know, they're very durable. You can clean anything with them. You can use whatever products you need to do with them. You can throw them in the wash and I mean they're pretty indestructible so far, at least the ones that I've uh, made so far. So, you know, if you're if you're uh, interested and you're a novice knitter like I am, um, you know, this is a good easy starting project. Um, the pattern for this uh, came from this book here, which is a great book with um, a lot of beginner projects in it. So, um, you know, I've really I've really enjoyed it. It's got some um, it's got some fun things in there, um, booties and gloves and hats and, you know, very basic things here like a scarf and that kind of thing. But then some really good instructions on, on how to knit, uh, you know, for those who are just learning how to do it. Um, and especially uh, different styles of knitting. Um, those who follow the, um, so holding the needles, how to hold the yarn, um, and then there's generally two different styles of knitting. There's American style, which um, you you hold the needles you hold the needles differently. Oh, and your your yarn. Sorry, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. But basically, with your needles, um, when you're holding them, your yarn you um, you uh, kind of wrap around separately. Um, and then there's the and then there's the continental style, which is what I do. This is how I was taught, um, where basically you, you hold the yarn as you go, and you, you hold the yarn as you go, and you kind of just use your use your hand to wrap the yarn around. So, um, But it explains both, and um, and then all different kinds of stitching and binding off and all that kind of thing. So, so yeah, great book for those who are just uh, learning how to knit. And um, yeah, so there we go. My project is done. On to the next. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I didn't completely tell the truth. I'm not quite done yet. Um, so in one other thing to show you, um, as I was working on this project, um, I realized that I my yarn ended up everywhere around the house. Um, I had some in our bedroom. I had some at my craft table. I had some, um, I had a bunch of it in the basement. I had, you know, a little tote bag with yarn. Um, and... Um, and I knew that I already had a box put aside with yarn, so I decided to go through and just collect all of it. Um, I actually thought that it, I would need this size bin, which is, you know, is not a very, it's not a small, it's not a small bin. It holds a lot of stuff. Um, but as you can see, <laughs> I then also had all of this, which this tub is a gigantic. Um, but I realized as I was going through some of the boxes, I mean, some old boxes that I had before I even, um, you know, before I had met my husband, um, and I was going through some of those and I was finding more and more yarn. I realized that people had given me yarn when they found out I was into crafting. Um, they just figured, oh, well, maybe she would like this because I don't use this anymore. Um, but part of the bigger problem is that I would, I would buy yarn with this grand idea of, oh, this is going to be perfect. You know, these two colors are going to be great. I'll make a, an afghan for my son. And, um, oh, this is like, this is going to be such a pretty thing for a scarf. And, um, you know, uh, and projects that I've started. So, like, here's, um, this is the start of an afghan for my daughter. 
So I started making these squares. Well, I haven't, just haven't finished it. So, <laughs> so I have, you know, half finished projects all over the place. And so, um, yeah, so at some point I'm going to have to go through and organize this and, um, and actually figure out what I'm going to do with all of this. So this is the other, the other joyful project that I've, uh, that I've had to work on. So anyway, okay, now I'm done and now moving on to the next project. Talk to you soon.